Hi there, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win every time. It doesn't matter what you're betting on, we've got you covered. We're going to get into some MLB action for the final day of the season. Before we do, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access here to this VIP club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so let's take a look here. There's five of them that we want to look at today. So let's get started here. It's a full slate of games for the final day of the season. Uh, Boston and Baltimore. If we take a look at this one in the AL East, Boston comes in uh, one and five over their last six games. They really have nothing to play for as they are out of playoff competition. Uh, Tanner Houck is scheduled to pitch for Boston. He is coming in at minus 509 on the pitcher profit oscillator, so he is a very poor bet. And his ERA is also not very good either at 5.31. Baltimore comes in with their best season since like 1980, 1979, four and two over the last six and burning hot. If you take a notice here at this total streak, you can see under between the two teams in um, nine of the last 12. So take a look at that. The score prediction has Baltimore eight to four and the confidence in the prediction is 68%. We take a look at this indicator chart you can see on the downward trend for Boston from plus nine down to plus five, while Baltimore went up to plus 28. Um, head to head this season, it has been well. Let's take a look at the head to head matchup for this season between the two teams. You can see here in the last four, Boston won three out of the last four. Actually, even Baltimore three out of the last four. And overall, it is uh, let's see, four, five, five, three in favor of Baltimore so far this year. The stability factor, we can see that Boston has been very, very inconsistent at minus four. And in fact, they were the highest that they've been was plus five back in April the 18th. And they haven't been anywhere near that since then. And Baltimore's at plus 16. So in the end here, I like Baltimore, even though they don't really have anything to play for. Talent's going to prevail. Baltimore will win. The next game we want to look at is... See a huge sway the game's full schedule for the final day of the season. We got Tampa Bay and Toronto. Tampa Bay comes in burning hot four and two over the last six. While Toronto's ice cold down there have lost their last two. And an interesting thing with this total streak, you can see in the last three, under in the last three between the two teams, but but before that, over in the previous nine. The score prediction has Tampa Bay by a wide margin, eight to one, confidence of sixty-three percent. On the power ranks indicator chart, Tampa is a little bit higher than Toronto at plus 27 compared to plus 20. Uh, let's see. The stability factor. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Tampa has been one of the most stable, consistent teams in the league, meaning they're uh, consistently performing with regard to what their favorite underdog status indicates, plus 40 compared to plus 6. That alone tells me that I like the Rays and also, the Rays have been an excellent uh, road team. So let's go with the Rays in a game going over the line. Okay, the next one we want to look at here is, we'll go down to the list, Houston and Arizona. Here's an interesting matchup, considering it's two interleague uh, teams playing against each other in the final day of the season. I think it's pretty unusual. I haven't really seen much of that. Uh, both teams are heading for the postseason, uh, unless something drastic happens here. Uh, between the time I'm recording this video and the time the games are being played on Sunday. Um, Arizona is burning hot 4-2 and two over their last six, and Houston is ice cold up 2-4 and four over their last six. Um, you notice that the trend has been over the line between the two teams, and the score prediction of 7-5 to five in favor of Arizona with 55% confidence. If you take a look at this chart, the power ranks indicator, you can see an up and downward trend for Arizona. Now on the upward climb from 18 up to plus 22 over the last few days, while Arizona is down from 17 to 15. Head to head, you can see the teams have not yet played this year, so that doesn't really come into play. The stability factor, again, Arizona has been much more consistent compared to Houston. You can see Houston had been up to around, what were they, plus? Uh, they were right around plus 14, and now they've dipped considerably down to zero. So they've been very inconsistent lately. I still think that uh, the Astros will, will take care of business here. They are much better on the road. A very strange phenomenon. They are a game under 500 at home, 
and 18 games over 500 on the road, which is also very odd. I like Houston in this one. Okay, now we're going to look at a couple more. Philadelphia, New York, the Phillies have clinched the first uh, wild card berth in the National League. They are burning hot winners over their last six. While the Mets have been ready to go home, seems like for some time now, they are dead status more than five over their last six. Um, the over-under has been trending under the line in the last four. In general, the over the line over the last 11. This score prediction of, and confidence of 92% is one of the highest I've ever seen on here, with Philadelphia 9, New York Mets 4. The power ranks indicator also show that the wide discrepancy between the teams, plus 27 Philadelphia, and you can see the big downward trend for New York, and they are at plus 3. Let's take a look at this, the stability factor. Again, you should see something interesting here, that the Mets have actually been pretty stable, which means that they've been consistent, but pretty much just been consistently bad. So they've been underdogs a lot, and they've been losing a lot as underdogs while Philadelphia Stability at plus 25. So since the Mets have totally checked out, the Phillies will win this one in a game over the line. The final one we want to look at is Texas and Seattle. In the AL West, both teams are still playing for a playoff spot. Nothing has yet been decided, but Seattle is not playing good at all. Losers are five out of their last six. And Texas is burning hot. They have won five out of their last six. Teams have been trending on opposite sides of the over underline. The score prediction is rather low of 5-3. to three. This would be an under the line if this would hold up at 71% confidence. The power ranks indicator chart shows the stability of Texas. They were at plus 29 for a couple days. But then they dropped a little bit down to plus 24, while Seattle is at plus 17. Head-to-head -head wise, uh, Seattle has won 8 of the 9 games so far this season. Uh, excuse me, Seattle, not Seattle, Texas has won eight of the nine games this season. And if you take a look at this, some of these have been blowouts, like 12-3 to three on June the 4th and 16-6 to six on June the 3rd. Most of the other games have been rather close. And again, the stability factor between the two teams, pretty stable, pretty consistent. Um, Texas was as high as plus 25 on the stability factor, but now they're at plus 21, while Seattle is at its highest current number of the season at plus 12. So again, I think this is going to be a Rangers win. Rangers have dominated the Mariners, and I expect that to continue, but I would pass on the over-under. Okay, so there you have it. Those are all the games for Major League Baseball for this Sunday, and happy betting, and we will see you again next time.